Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back. Master Yun Li. I don't think I'm completely ready. With some more Honkai Star Rail. March? There is no such thing as completely ready. We're going to continue on with this pretty like I don't know, this might be main story, honestly, at this point. It's been so long. But it's like marked differently than what main stories are normally marked. They're usually marked yellow, but this thing's marked orange. I hate that. You have to like hit it over like 16 times before it like goes up to this. Because it doesn't just automatically go over. This is what it looks like going over. You have to hit it like diagonally like, a couple of times. It's really bad. <clears throat> Alright. Um what's going on here? We're about to hop into this competition and see how this goes down. Miss Yun Lee, Miss March, this way, please. I'm assuming all of the both stories are gonna meet their apex here, probably once we make it to the finals or some shit like that. I was informed of your arrival by Madame Yukong and came to greet you personally. We shall see. The news that you be the ringmaster in place of Lieutenant Yan Ching has been made public, Miss March. Just now, as I passed the contestants hall, I overheard them all discussing this news. The most common question I heard was, who is March 7th? Good question. If they ask you this, how will you introduce yourself? Do you have something prepared? Nope. Yep. March 7th, a young beauty from the all right. When people ask you, you might as well tell them this loud and clear. <laughs> I see you are both quite relaxed. Impressive, given the imminent danger you face. Miss Yun Li's contestant information was registered for the war dance a long time ago. However, as a last minute entry, the Skyfaring Commission has taken care of the necessary procedures for you, Miss March 7th. Please, follow this path. The contestant hall is just up ahead. Thank you, Miss Shikwe. Come, let's take a look around the contestant hall. Oh, just look behind you, kids. Could be a creepy guy in a windowless van, or it could be a treasure chest. Contestant Hall. Oh, there are so many people! March, before the war dance begins, allow me to give you one more lesson. My grandfather always told me that a weapon mimics its master. That means that a person's weapon will reflect their habits and personality. You've seen me wield old metal before, haven't you? Tell me, what did you observe from that? old metal is taller than a person being able to wield a weapon like that must mean that you have ridiculous strength right observing the weapon that your opponent uses assessing what kind of battle skills they excel at and where their weaknesses lie is the key to victory in battle a shockingly heavy sword like mine for example is obviously not suited for a long drawn out battle so, it would be best to find a way to drag the battle out. Why would you tell me your weakness? That's the only way to ensure that we have a fair fight, don't you think? I don't want to see you go and lose to someone else, after all. Now is a perfect opportunity to learn how to evaluate your opponents. Let's use the people here in the contestants' hall to practice. If you know yourself, and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. Know myself, and know the enemy. Let's see, who should I ask first? Oh, I am not used to 
used to wearing clothes like this at all. Ooh, you are March 7th. The stand-in for Lieutenant Yun Cheng, correct? That's right. And you are? As you can see, I am the journalist entrusted with interviewing contestants on site. I see the Skyfaring Commission has really gone all out as the host. Interesting. That's right! A big event like this just can't go ahead without a few of us running around. <laughs> Since the competition is getting started, could I ask you some questions that are on my mind? Oh! Uh, great! First, the question that is on everyone's minds. Lieutenant Yenching is not appearing in today's war dance. This is just gossip from unreliable sources, but I hear that Lieutenant Yenching is seriously injured. Is this true? Then, what is the real reason? Hmm, this could be funny. Y you're kidding. That's a huge scoop! Once the war dance begins, you will be challenged by master swordsmen from many different worlds, Miss March You're gonna 7. have to deal for that one. Are there any that you're looking forward to facing in particular? March 7th, you are quite Arab. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> extremely self assured. <laughs> Thank you very much for accepting my interview. Much appreciated. Join the IPC. <sighs> I came here because I wanted to meet the great Lieutenant Yan Ching I've heard so much about and finally cross blades with him myself. Who would have imagined that he would take a disciple and have her be the ringmaster in his place? This is no more than running away from a fight and is a great dishonor to the Yao Cheng. Okay, main character. This last minute replacement, March 7th. Who exactly is she? That's right. I'm the March 7th that everyone's been talking about. What? Your March 7th? I'm a newbie swordmaster who's only been practicing the art of swordplay for half a month. March 7th. Standing before you is a seasoned cloud knight who has practiced swordsmanship for over 200 years. Tricking the opponent into underestimating me is a valid tactic too, right? Is it really tricking them if you're just telling them the truth? <laughs> About your own level of incompetence at this situation? Was there something you wanted to ask me? Ah, yes. Yeah, this is just a regular Cloud Knight Devastator Glaive. Oh, I understand what's going on, Miss March 7th and Miss Yun Li. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not a contestant. I'm just here as a security guard. out of the ordinary i guess you could say it's all fair winds and calm wolves <laughs> uh. <laughs> another awkward pause i knew it uh did you get it uh, wolves sounds like waves it's a funny pun he's actually explaining his joke ah making things awkward really is my weakness there are still many guests arriving here. Please be cautious. Understood. The first round of the war dance is about to begin. Are you feeling okay, March? Me? I'm fine. As soon as I saw all these people gathered here, I suddenly felt weirdly relaxed. Looking at these 
contestants, I suddenly feel a lot calmer for some reason. I understand why you wanted me to know myself and know my enemy. I don't feel as nervous as I did before. So, do you want to go out and see the ring? I knew it! Let's go! to see the war dances official venue. Wow, so this is what it's like from the spectator seats? Look over there. That's the ring we'll be standing on. Master Yun Li, I I'm getting nervous again. Can I really do this? Too late for nerves now. It's almost time. Almost time for what? As soon as I think about the mission General Huayan gave me, oh, my heart starts racing like crazy. What do I do, Master Yunli? It's when it stops beating that we need to worry. <laughs> Just take in the atmosphere. And prepare yourself. I have to leave for a moment and do some inspections around the ship. This was also part of Grandpa's orders. I wonder how Master Yan Ching is doing over there. Hey, focus. God damn it, I don't know why. As soon as I start playing this game, I just start just feeling so fucking tired. General, Crazy. report. The teams are in position, and the Skyfaring Commission has taken control of the Starskip lanes. Activate all side cranes and have them scan everyone coming in and out of the port. Remain vigilant at all times. Any suspicious movements must be suppressed as quickly as possible before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, General. You two, follow me. What's well, a signal's nearby, but we lost contact just a moment ago. That mean he will be fine. Cloud Knights, search for the target. <clears throat> All of you, get out of my way. Wait, don't go any closer. General, I failed you. That mad dog left me here as... Trap. A declaration of war. Oh, okay. That's right. I've been holding back the urge to slit his throat all this time. Well... Lord Hule ordered us to remain here, just to see. If you, the great Merlin's Claw, mortal enemy of the Forison, are able to join him in a little hunting game. <sighs> hunting is not a game. It is a battle of life and death. Are you ready for your death, abomination? Die! Save your breath. I'm okay. I'm so right, let's do this. Partially, no one's weak to ice, so we're kind of screwed on that. Oh, ready. but she did decent damage. Oh, these guys are actually pretty weak. I haven't been doing any grinding off stream yet. Seems like we're doing quite a bit of damage to them. You're a 
sensors? Enemy data secure net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Specimen sighted. Lance ablaze. Lance. All right. Now we're getting into like the slower. Holy damage seems to be doing the most. Commencing research. Lance of Lace. Lance. Forward. Enemy targets detected. Your answers? Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Mm. Lame. Right. Oh yeah, the prices came out for the uh, new anniversary edition of the PlayStation, and they are fucking insane. Um, so I think this was resale that I saw, oh, I but it's like literally me. like uh, over a thousand dollars. It's like I, I still need to watch the video on it, but from the thumbnail. I couldn't tell if that was the legit price or if that was the resale price that they're going for. And if we're just well, gonna have the same problem as we did when okay? the PS5 first dropped. I wasn't able to save Chow Chow. Hule was more cunning and powerful than I imagined. Tell me, how is he planning to declare this war against me? The one on one duel? Or with a hostage exchange, maybe? Hulei is planning on attacking the bustling streets of the Xianzhou Lawfu. What did you just say? Impossible! Even if there is still undercover Borison that we haven't sniffed out, Hulei can't have more than a few dozen people. How is he planning on simultaneously attacking the streets of the Xianzhou Lawfu? He has an ace up his sleeve. Hulei's body holds a plague mark passed down through generations of Borison. I've seen him convert a Foxy into a Borison Wolf Trooper with my own eyes. This is Hule's declaration of war. His blood. It can cause Foxians to rapidly transform and lose their minds. He has passed his blood to his minions and is planning to spread it across the Law Fu and stir up panic. He wants to encircle us in one fell swoop. This beast is truly unpredictable. Contact the Skyfaring Commission and the Cloud Knights right away. Have them enforce a traffic ban and order all Foxians to remain indoors until further notice. The moment you see your enemy's declaration of war, it means that they have already begun to take action. But... If Hule succeeds in getting this panic to spread. Do you remember what I told you before? Hunting is about thinking the same way as your prey, not just mindlessly chasing after them. What Hule wants is to see everyone on the Lawfu descend into panic. He wants to see us lose our minds and waste our limited manpower scouring every inch of the Lawfu for signs of an attack until we exhaust ourselves. It's like that party game that the people of the Yaoqing love to play. They hide an object under one of several bowls, then move the bowls around and have you guess which one the object is underneath. The way I see it, this is all nothing more than misdirection. <sighs> no matter what Hule does, there is one truth that cannot be changed. He is trapped aboard the Sienjo Lawfu. The only way for him to escape is to find a ship.
right now, the only ship he'd be able to see is the Sky Splitter. In his eyes, that ship is full of countless hostages. That would be the best place for him to go. So, that will also be our final battlefield. But if we're wrong about this, if he goes somewhere else, or if he does as he said he would, and his minions infect the Foxians everywhere with wolf blood, what do we do then? Are we just supposed to abandon those less likely locations? This is another lesson that you must learn outside of swordplay. Weighing your options and making a decision. There are always questions that we will ask ourselves, but never be able to answer. Before making a decision, we must destroy any hesitation that we are holding on to. Once we make a decision, we must fight off any regrets. There is a chance that we will make the wrong decision and allow our allies to be sacrificed in vain. There is a chance that we will predict our enemy's movements correctly, yet underestimate their strength and be overwhelmed in battle. But being lost in hesitation and failing to take any action will always be more harmful than taking the wrong path. We must make a decision, no matter what. Everyone, listen up. I will personally take charge of Starskip Haven, evacuate the people, and prepare for any possible attacks. I will do my best to ensure that things are safe on the ground. Nameless, please lend us your strength as you did when the Ambrosial Arbor was reborn. I need you and Wildza to go in search of Zhao Cho. General, please entrust me with the safety of the Sky Splitter. I was originally meant to participate in the tournament, so now it is only right that I return to the Sky Splitter. Kule does come to attack the Sky Splitter. Lieutenant Yang Ching, I need you to hold him there until I am able to arrive. Please rest assured, General. If he dares step foot on the Sky Splitter, I, Yan Ching, swear on the blade in my hands that he shall not escape. Cloud Knights! The Borsin have arrogantly decided to challenge us on Sienjo territory. They vow that they will unleash a bloodbath along the streets of the Sienjo. The unarmed civilians of the Sienjo and countless visitors from afar are under our protection. Let me ask you, as Cloud Knights, will we allow the Borsin to succeed with their plan? No! On your guard. Calling Starskip Haven. Have all Cloud Knights be on full alert for Boris and attacks. Hey, Shell. The ports of Starskip Haven are crawling with wolf like creatures. They're moving fast. Hold them back. I will be there immediately. Here we go. Wait, why is it nighttime in that one spot than daytime here? That makes no sense. <laughs> there you are, Faisal. Madam Yukong. After 30 years, we Sorry. We're kind of in the middle of combat. If you wanted to talk, let the conversation keep going and not just stop. A short respite, then time for the next fight. Show me what's up. Commencing gear, try this! Thank you. Okay, Stay honestly, safe. we haven't gotten to try out our new character yet so being able to do the trial version of her is gonna be pretty interesting her ability at like doing that whirlwind that sucked people in for that fight that seems super useful as an ability ready for another fangs and claws all right let's see here just try basic pretty good 
You know what? We're just gonna heal. Wish we had a block for certain characters. Like most of the time, you don't, you, you won't need that. But still, it would be nice to have one in case of situations where it's like you just want one specific character to attack. These guys are like hella weak. Right, that was triangle. Oh, dude, the triangle does one move and then a follow up, which can hit two separate people. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna heal, and then we're gonna finish this fool off. Thank you. Stay safe. Ooh, ooh. going down. A short respite, then time for the next fight. Good buddy. Blocking the way. Oh wow. Is that an advertisement for a cruise? Just an anchor. What am I doing? Stairs are God. Alright, I'm blind. I'm blind, y'all. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. Alright. We don't have a fault yet. Her ult works differently. Okay, interesting. So her ult kind of looks similar to, uh... Oh, what's her face? That has the nihility power with the katana. I think her ult is based on how many hits she no does to the rush. enemy, rather than building up a meter. Commencing support. Ready for another? Oh, wait, no. Hmm, wait. Okay. I didn't see anything build up when ratio hit, but then when that last person hit, her meter went all the way up. I'm not sure why. I guess maybe every few moves or every amount, certain amount of damage the enemy takes, maybe that's what it is. Ooh. Triangle. Dude, that's sick. A short respite, then time for the next fight. Fangs and claws got dull. Never hesitate. Oh. No need to rush. Patience breeds success. All right, sorry guys. Hold on, I just got a fucking text alert. Yeah, no, it's normal. What? Okay, weird. Don't know why they sent me that. Enemy targets detect. <gasps> Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. The fearless knows not fear. A short respite, then time for the next fight. Oh, I missed that one. Short respite, then time for the next fight.
We have cleared out the enemies in Starskip Haven. But it seems that there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a Starskip. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. I know Jiao Cho always wants me to know my limits and not get carried away, but now is the time to bring this to a swift end. Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately. Madam Yukong, lend me your bow. Been quite a few little cutscenes. damage there. You just mushroom clowned you mushroom clouded downtown, bro. Fuck. You killed Susie. She's only six weeks away from retirement. Oh, what a mess. I just knew it would end up this way. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess like this. She didn't even leave a single survivor to get intel from. One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao Cho's whereabouts. He has to be. A retainer like myself is nothing more than an insignificant shadow who stands by the general's side. But Zhao Cho is different. Without his careful treatment, the General wouldn't even be here today. Hopefully, he can use that silver tongue of his to buy himself enough time. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I don't care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. Astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a Foxian war slave. So decisive, so brutal. She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who have fallen to our current state. No wonder the warhead has his eyes on her. The sneak that infiltrated the Shackling prison. Mock talk. You are harder to kill than a cockroach. But the fact that you have willingly shown yourself saves us some time. It is not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? <laughs> Save your energy, Yao Qing monkey. If there is one principle that we beasts know well, it is that we might have to break off an arm to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. I lived as a hunter for many years, yet I have only followed the warhead. For this recent, brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind eyes. 
like the moon of Verdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the wolf's creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on one another. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats, living a dirty and pathetic life. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack, and they should die for it as well. Come, the Ching man. Show me your fangs. We will fight to the death. Puh. How honorable, you mangy dog. But you seem to have misunderstood. There will be no fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. Oh, we don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have her with us. Oh, whoa. What was that? I accidentally hit pause or something? Oh, I think I might have accidentally like double tap pause or something. Okay. You think you can still pillage and murder freely as you did a thousand years before? You see Zhou Yao Ching, we're assured that this is nothing more than your dying fantasy. We have the upper hand. <laughs> Zero points. Hit. Here, try this. Nice teamwork. Not good. To trouble. <laughs> nice teamwork. Lance of Blaze. Alright, that should cut most of their shields in half. Not good. Yeah. We have the upper hand. <gasps> Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I'm on guard. Perfect. Deep breath. Thanks for the support. <clears throat> Ready for another? Good lord. That was all. We just healed her. Your answers? Zero points. Perfect. Bro. <laughs> Lance ablaze. Lance. Forward. Commencing support. <gasps> Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. Commencing research. Thanks for the support. To travel. Not bad. Five points. Enemy. I must. Ready for another? Lance. Answer me. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth. And falsehood. Fight me! It's straight like this will set me running! Fucking second round with them. Yeah, I can't remember if I said this part out loud, but I was checking during some of those cutscenes about the pricing. It looks like the pricing for the anniversary edition is normal. It's the normal price, it's basically just a skin so they don't charge extra for it. But yeah, the resales are like fucking crazy for a lot of the stuff. Like, don't lose momentum. The console is going for like nine hundred to a thousand dollars. 
Although I believe the controller is like still up for pre-sale and stuff, so it's like you can still get that because again, it's just basically a skin. Well, technically it's a whole paint shop thing, but like we'll treat it like a color variant. They also added three different colors. They added like um, it's like a metallic almost um foam look where they have like a blue slash purple. So like it's blue, but then the reflection is kind of purpley. Uh, they have a green one, and they also did like a pearl type one. Except honestly, the pearl one doesn't look as rainbowy as you'd want it to be. Uh, but yeah, they added those three new character colors, so that's pretty sick for PlayStation. They're finally starting to do some customizable stuff somewhat. They're still lacking in like you know whatever game comes out with a console version of it. Mainly, probably because the consoles are still too expensive. Yeah, most people wouldn't spend money on that. Like, there's a threshold of, like, getting a special edition just for, like, a game. And I think 400, like, anything past 400 is, like, 400 still high, but I think that's, like, the limit that someone would spend for, like, a console that's, like, custom designed on it. Or, like, a specific game. Like, how they used to do, like, uh... They did a Enemy Kingdom Hearts detected. custom PlayStation 4 once, which was okay looking. I think the best looking custom PlayStation 4 that they ever made was either... There was one for Metal Gear 5, which looked really nice. But then, probably the best, best one was... Time there was a Destiny decision. one that looked sick. It was, like, white on white. And then the rest of them look pretty No matter mid. how heroic your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths, Borison. It seems that Mock Talk got what he wished for. Hule, your declaration of war is over. From now on, no matter where you run, General Fei Shao will catch you and send you to the same fate as Mock Talk. <laughs> oh, your tongue is sharper than your claws. Don't stand in my way, child. Have your general speak with me. Our little hunting game is not over. Stand down, Mwaksa. I am here, Hule. What do you wish to say? The Merlin's Claw. <laughs> Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you from both my men and your healer. <sighs> the people of the Sinjo must be quite brave to allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood to ascend to the position of general. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of yours? Or could it be that your grand achievements were enough to convince everyone to keep their lips sealed? Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. Hule, are you begging me for mercy? I see that it is not only the ruthless blood of a wolf that courses through your veins, but also the cunning blood of a fox. When you think about it, this was a gift from the Borson. Anything that we gift, we are also free to reclaim. The Merlin's Claw. I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the Sky Splitter. Before you arrive, I will slaughter all in sight, allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over 700 years to once more come to life. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen show everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiangzhou is. Okay, 
Okay, God, you're like kind of one note here. Let's uh, move on. Say so, Chief. Before I finish these tasks of mine, you have a chance to stop me or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared for you. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path to ruin. Trusting you not only with the honor of the ring, but also with the security of the Sky Splitter. That's easy for my grandfather to say. But this mission doesn't seem so simple anymore. The first round of the tournament is about to begin. I wonder how Yen Ching and the others are doing. According to the plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if they've discovered anything. Maybe I should take a moment to meet with March before the tournament starts. March is in the contestants lounge right now. Oh, I wonder how her preparations are coming along. March, it's me, Yunli. Are you okay? Still a nervous wreck. You still seem nervous. I wasn't this nervous before. It's just being alone in this lounge, I can't stop thinking about everything. I mean, not only are we taking part in the war dance, but we have such an important mission to carry out as well. March, calm down. Don't worry about your mission. You have me here too, right? I know my grandfather said that you must represent the Lawfu as the ringmaster. But don't let that intimidate you. Ask yourself. You are a nameless of the Astral Express. You have always been free to come and go as you please. So why did you board the Sky Splitter with me? when my grandfather gave us this mission. Why? Because I also want the war dance to go smoothly. For us nameless, even though we're just visitors at every stop, it was here that I met my two masters and made many new friends. I want the war dance to go ahead without any problems, for everyone's sake. Good answer. The tournament is about to begin, so I must go carry out the mission that Grandpa gave me. March, may your blade be sharp and your victory glorious. Thank you, Master Yun Lee. According to Grandpa's plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if there have been any new developments. Is that you, Miss Yun Lee? If there's anything that I can help you with, please let me know. The Cloud Knights are all in position, following General Hua Yen's orders. Very good. Although, there is one thing I want to confirm with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any means to distinguish between Borisin and the Foxians. However, you can rest assured that the Clown Knights are working hard to investigate the source of the forged identities. All Cloud Knights on the Sky Splitter have their own responsibilities and wouldn't dare neglect their posts. March 7th and I could already tell. It's clear that every Cloud Knight soldier we've met on the Sky Splitter is an elite warrior. 
Uh, your timing is perfect, Miss Yun Lee. We actually just received an emergency boarding request. An emergency boarding request? It wasn't on the Skysplitter Starskiff registry, but all the documentation checked out. Who would be boarding the ship at this time? Uh, where are they? I'll go check it out. The Starskiff is using the contestant docking bay. Would you like me to lead the way? No need. You have your own duties to take care of. I will be fine by myself. I have to check on this immediately. It's a trap. I have to check on this immediately. That's lame. You won't even let me walk down the hallway. Routine inspection! All passengers, please prepare for an inspection! So this is the suspicious Starskiff. Where did the passengers go? I'm going to count down from ten. If you do not come out, I will destroy the ship. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. The time is running out. Three, two, one. Wait a second. It's me. It's just a routine inspection. You weren't actually going to blow up the ship, were you? Is that also some kind of Zhuming custom? Didn't Lil Yenqing claim he was going to give up being the ringmaster and go on the hunt instead? Help shoulder the general's burdens? The Borison on the ground suddenly launched an attack. General Fei Shao was concerned that this was all a diversion by Hule, so I requested to come to the Sky Splitter and provide support. Can't believe you ended up back here on the Sky Splitter after running around all over the place. But you're too late to enter the tournament now. Following Grandpa's plan, our disciple March is taking your place as ringmaster. Aren't you proud of her? When I first heard the news, I was definitely proud, but also a little concerned. More manpower is always a good thing, since the Sky Splitter is so large. Oh, and by the way, you should know that. What's happening? Does it feel like the Sky Splitter has slowed down? Could, could it be? Come with me. We need to check the engine room. It's the heart of the ship, so we need to prioritize its safety. here. And you should be lying alongside them. Don't worry, children. There's plenty of space to hide your bodies over here. <sighs> Even though I truly hoped that the war dance would go ahead uninterrupted, and that I was worrying for no reason. Now that these guys have finally shown up, 
It's a huge weight off my mind. Bring it on, you abominations! Specimen sighted! Should have brought a chair with me. All right. Oh, they got to go a lot. <laughs> right on time. Jeez. Yes, you. Right on time. Yes, you. I'm asking questions. Ah, it's just for him. Hey, I forgot. What's her? Okay, so there's the mountain. Daddy. Commencing research. Chuck a big ass. When in doubt, chuck a big ass sword at people. Not good. Right on top. Ready for another? in the engine room. That means that even more abominations have infiltrated other areas. Hule is already aboard the Sky Splitter. There's no time to talk about this. The war dance has already started. If my guess is correct, the Borison will most likely use the ceremony to begin their slaughter. Let's go. We need to get to the war dance ring. With me to the ring. I don't think so, Chief. You're going down. Here, try this. Thank you. For you. Right on time. Enemy data secure. Okay, actually, let's now see here. Does her alt work? Is she just a follow up hit after the next person attacks? Okay, good to know. Okay, so the large uh, Buster Swordsman girl, her alt hits someone and then does a follow-up hit after the next person hits someone. And I wasn't sure if that counted also with alts or but no or with just regular attacks. Patience it looks like it just works success. with regular attacks. So that's truth. good to know. We have the upper hand. <gasps> Zero points. Mountain Got the defense? Answer me. Zero points. Boom, twofer. Right. Um, I can't remember. Does she? I think she only heals herself. All right. Oh, check your chest. Almost missed it. Got it, guys. Got it. Look slap. Specimen sighted. Deep breath. Thanks for the support. You know what? Fuck it. She, she's weak. I don't want to risk losing her. To trouble. Thank you. as my calculations predicted. This way. We're not too late. We would like to welcome all of our honored guests and contestants to the... We would like to welcome all of our honored guests and contestants to the Xianzhou Law Fu's Luminary War Dance Before we get the first round underway, our organizing committee would like to introduce you all to a host known throughout the cosmos, Mr. Albert. 
Surround your enemy, but leave one side open. This is your strategy for ensuring that the war dance will be able to be held as usual? Precisely. When Hule escaped, we should have cancelled the war dance immediately. No one can predict where a wild beast like him will attack. Yet festivals and celebrations like this are likely to become targets. However, Preparations for the war dance were in the works for so long, I couldn't bear to announce its cancellation. So I thought, if the show must go on, then let it go on. But that doesn't mean that the war dance we hold today has to be the real event. All we need to do is swap all the spectators and contestants aboard the ship with Cloud Knight soldiers. And the sky splitter soaring high above will become the ultimate battleground for our hunt. Hmm. But what do we do if Hule is not planning to attack the war dance? Then we just need to draw his attention to the sky splitter. We'll have the sky faring commission clear all transport lanes and cut down Starskiff traffic. Then, when the time comes, there will be only one ship in the sky, and he will have no reason not to attack. General Fei Shao will be in charge of scaring the wolves and cutting off their other means of escape, making him think that this will be his best way out. Given that the Borisin already have insiders on the Law Fu, I will be in charge of putting pressure on them, making them focus solely on keeping themselves safe. Very good. Then I'd better dust off my weary bones, too. I will go with the Skyfaring Commission to guard the Jade Gate and ensure that things do not spiral out of control. Knowing that Elder Huayan is part of our last line of defense is a great comfort. This hunt will make Hule understand that the arrows of the hunt will always be one step ahead of the abominations. That jolt just now. What's going on? It feels like the entire ship has started to slow down. Borison must have actually infiltrated the Sky Splitter. Based on General Wyan's orders, it's time for me to take action. You got two things of music from that. Sword 
guys. You're not Cloud Knights acting as Borison, are you? You're... You're real Borison, aren't you? <laughs> Like the general's arrangements are finally coming in handy. I need to find Yun Li and the others as soon as possible. Yes! Commencing research. He ain't got nothing. Ah. Enemy targets okay. detected. Okay, at least those guys are taking damage easy. Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter. Let's do this. I could take ten of you. Nice job. Ready for another? S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Let's see how this goes. Master Yan Ching! What are you doing here? Uh, I was concerned about the safety of the Sky Splitter, and my dear disciple, of course. Yan Ching, the wolf you are hunting is standing above us in the war dance ring at this very moment, facing the Cloud Knights. This war dance will not be seen by the people of the Sienjo. Nor will it be just a ceremonial sword fight. This is a battle to the death that offers no honor, only mortal danger. March, are you ready? March, may your blades be sharp, and your victories glorious. May your blades be sharp, and your victories glorious. May your blades... Ah, forget it. Let's go and make this a quick victory. Let's go. Meanwhile, <laughs> so feeble, such weakness is truly pathetic. I've been waiting a long time for this, Hule. Listen, they shall and send some young cubs to the slaughter. Someone else take this one. Remember this. My name is March 7th. Bring that. After the law. Let's assume. 
I wouldn't let my guard down if I were you. It's about time this old wolf tasted defeat at the hands of the young cub. Let's test your knowledge. And of course, we don't have anyone on that he's weak to, too. That's like... Fuck my life. Seriously? Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, fuck my life. Really? Her ult did literally a tick of dam- 1% damage! You think a little ambush is enough to defeat me? Yes, an ambush did. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna survive this. Two percent. And he's almost killed two of my people. Ah. Uh, Never stop thinking. What the fuck is our healer? She is. She keeps getting. She's like so fucking low down into the pack. God damn it. Yeah, we're probably gonna die and probably have to redo this fight because yeah, we are so fucked beyond belief right now. Is this going to be an attack? She's dead. I hate this. I hate this. I hate going into fights with zero idea of what fucking enemy's weakness just to find out, yeah, your entire team is completely useless because the three elements the enemy's weak to are just not the three that you have. Out of your team of fucking four. Uh, where the fuck is exit? I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this. If it was a boss fight, put a fucking meter up or something and be like, hey, you need these elements to go into the fight. Because there's zero reason why they shouldn't do that. It's like, oh, here's the door. Are you sure you want to go beyond the store? You might need these elements if you're going beyond the store. Nope, never mind. Just go into this fight and get your ass beat for like five minutes and then real and be like, oh, okay. So my entire unit just is fucking ass right now, so... I need a completely different lineup to fight. I don't even know why March is there. He's not even weak to Holy. But for some reason, that's the character they lock us into. It's fucking stupid. March, lead the counterattack. I believe in you. March, stay with the group. Don't rush off. Okay, hold on. Tails. I don't think we have any. Oh, we do. Okay. I had a few levels, I guess. Yeah, I have nothing. Um... Oh, and our healer is only 62. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, Skip, we have already done that. What have we got? I've been waiting a long time for this, Hule. That's 2%. There we go. See, that's what I don't understand. He's not weak to her element. Why does she get 2% damage on him? Yet the ice girl we had did 1% damage. Motherfucker, be consistent. Either completely fuck us over or don't. Don't only do that with some characters, but not specify which ones. The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant. Let's do this. Pop this guy so he's weak. Lame as fuck. Oh my fucking lord. 
As per usual, Dane Hong just fucking getting obliterated HP wise. He's not even at 2000. I don't even fucking know how or why he's not. Like, he's relatively up to date other than his level. Like, our healer, who's 10 levels behind us, is higher health wise than Dane Hong. Like, how, how does that happen, bud? Here comes the medicine. Don't worry about me. Lance blaze. All right, let's see what main boy does in damage. He's allegedly weak to this. Like one percent damage and a little bit of his shield. We'll see. They're going down. There we go. That's a that. <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. Not the damage. Hell yeah. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. All right, it's almost fifty percent. Our healer's almost completely fucking dead. God damn it! This fucker gets three moves in a row every time. All go after the healer. Come on. I'll need to fuck off. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, eating less cows. Clemency? Never heard of it. Our healers are already fucked. Like, they got three moves, plus Fuckface always does that bonus move at the end. Okay, didn't hit the healer at all. That's good, that's good. This should break your shield. Boom. You'll make for good practice. Better not underestimate me. All better now? Don't worry about me. Like every Just hit is like immediately have something. to heal from it because two hits will kill him. Think nothing of it. Don't worry about me. Lance ablaze. Oh wait, yeah. I wasn't even paying attention if there was even like a second health bar or something. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so at least there's that. He's one health bar. Which actually makes him one of the weaker bosses if he's only got one health bar. Unless they changed how they display it on him. And you do your thingy. We focus too much on him. He's got too much of a pack going. They're gonna fuck us up. And yeah, he gets to do a follow-up move. Oh my god. Oh my god. level is this prick? Naughty children? Yeah, that's this isn't gonna work either. Fuck. We need someone with more frequent big heals. Um Dane Hung 
He does damage, but he's so fucking weak. We need to have the other woman leveled up. That we got. The foxy in person. She will do massive damage to him, probably. Dude, you are so fucking weak. Your HP is so ass. Like, what in the fuck? Everything is grind to get, grind to get, grind to get, grind to get. It's not a video game. Like, you, it's a fucking video game. Get XP by fighting. Like, every video game that has ever been created, instead of this fucking grind for materials horseshit. When did that start in games? Like, crafting is one thing, but literally grinding for materials to be able to actually play the game is, like, a completely separate thing. No, I needed that one. What the fuck am I doing? I needed that. I needed to enhance. And yeah, once again, we have to grind for both materials because we have fucking jack shit. Because everyone we fight gives us items that aren't fucking useful to anyone. Like... God damn this game. This isn't even her like this isn't even like a good card for her. Everything is the fucking arrowhead! Oh my god, so many cards need this not even just cards, just even the the this. These, a lot of these need the fucking arrowheads too. It's insane. Wait, no, I need uh get wrong with this, then get this. We needed seven. Uh, of course. Okay, uh, I... Well, hmm. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot we also had this fuck face, but nobody's been weak to electricity this entire fucking, like... This is what I don't get. Here's an arc. Here's a bunch of monsters. Here's a story involving these characters. Oh, well, some of the characters aren't even the weakness of the enemies you're fighting for their specific story. Well, then doesn't that make those characters completely useless? Yeah. Why introduce this guy when we're fighting people that are almost exclusively immune to electricity? That makes him so fucking useless here. Her, this makes sense. A lot of them are weak to win. I don't know, maybe I need to level her up more. Like, we got a few people that are, like, this neutral, the gray element. Yeah, and I made a huge mistake leveling her up. She's useless. Yeah, <laughs> sneezing. I am just not on it. Like, this, these guys, oh my god. Even the healer. We have two healers. One heals slow, and the other one does zero damage to enemy, basically. Buff and bot. Like, these two could do damage, but again, they're like 20 levels down from where I need them to be. And I don't even know if they'd be useful in a fight, because they've always been on the low end. Her, maybe. She, she is the guardian of these wolf people, so maybe it's like, not guardian of them, but like the fucking warden of the prison. Maybe she's actually better than I thought. Sister. I haven't really tried her out, so I don't know. Is sister calling me? Uh. It's frustrating because we're also supposed to be playing this tomorrow, but we're completely fucking halted by this bullshit. Once again, yeah, this is... At first, I like that it was linear because of the story, but then we get into this stuff and I realize, wow, I fucking hate this game because... 
it's a linear story where you get completely brick walled when your team is complete dog shit and you have to re-level an entirely different group of people just to possibly maybe do damage. So yeah, we're kind of in a fucked situation here. Where it's like, we have to grind now. If there's literally nothing else we can do, we have to grind. Do this, rip it, and rip it. Like, yeah, sorry about the fucking having to grind things, guys. Like, there's not really much I can do here. I haven't been grinding off stream, and we're kind of at a complete fuck you moment. Which is not the first time you've ran into one in this game. Actually, I wonder... Ah, uh, no. I was gonna say, maybe we use the Ice Shield guy, but I think he only can reflect moves back that are, like, projectiles, which... Well, I don't know. The guy... The Big Wolf guy does, like, a slash, and then that slash does a shock, but maybe that could be blocked by the Ice Wall and reflected back, possibly. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll try that. After this fight. Never stop thinking. Wow, she's already almost dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Inputting commands. We're at the point where, like, literally anyone on our team can be, like, two-shotted by most other people. It's fucking lame as shit. Lamps ablaze. Flaming lamps. Forward. And we can already also, like, level up and ascend so we can get higher levels for characters, which is just, like, I'm already getting fucked over at, like, level 70. Let alone if I raise it higher where the enemies become even more difficult. It's like, ah, I'll pass. Pass on that. This fuck face isn't even taken. Thanks for the support. All right. Commencing support. Enough. This ambrosial fuck face and his puppet runneth over. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. Zero and the list. Next. Oh no. Let's open that might batter him. But we got got this ass blasting robot fucking us over. I'm on guard. Perfect. Now's my chance. Time for something savory. Thanks for the support. Ready for another? Never stop thinking. This is a fucking nightmare of a fight. It's just a grind. In like the most, like not even in a, we have to fight them over and over in a, like, chip damage. Bro. Wait, I'm not even on speed up. What the fuck am I doing? I, I don't even... Yeah, she's a mistake to be on our team. Actually, I should look at that oh, Foxian woman, see what her health is at. She might be only level 50, but if her health is higher than Don Hung's, I might just put her on the team. As we grind. Enemy targets detected. Oh. Lance ablaze. He died. God damn it! Lance. That bitch just keeps dying. Uh, God damn it. Nice teamwork. Awesome guys. 
I'm only kind of getting fucked over. Spilling his drink all over me. Essay and knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Specimen sighted. Nope. I think something bit me. God damn, die. Nice. It's almost like three or four extra hits. Oh, thank God. Okay, we get quite a few of those cups. Um, what did we need? I think we only needed seven. And we already had four. What the fuck? Oh, we got like, okay. I didn't even know this was. We might be able to just craft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All right. But well, we don't even have the level up paper. For this path, have the level up no materials end. to ascend your character, and then on the level up paper to level up your character. But don't worry, we'll give you the ass shit bull crap. That's like, here's 0.5 XP. Good luck getting the actual high-level purple stuff. It will take you an extra five minutes in a fight. And it won't really be worth it. Alright, well, now we need that. And we don't even have armor. Fuck! I forgot about the armor. Ugh. Then you have to grind for armor. Then you have to grind for level up material for the armor. And then you have to go for this. And you have to grind for the material to even level this up. It's like... Bro... Fucking chill on like 50% of this stuff. It is becoming extremely fucking annoying to do all of this bullshit. Alright, can we... Oh, I don't even know. What? This is another high... This is another fight. Oh, fuck. I thought this was more mid-range shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got a bunch of these. Hello. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. You okay? I guess we'll do the, these. You. It's like to level up once and then it's completely different material. Come on. Bro, why are you clapping my cheeks on this shit? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fuck, it's her. Okay, yeah. Big boss lady. Which we can only fight a limited amount of times, too. I also... Um. Okay, what's her elements? Okay, electric, wind, and holy. Okay, that is our bread and butter, guys. Um, we'll do fifty.
No. That's so fucking stupid. It's square to select the character. And then it's triangle. Wait, it says triangle to confirm. Oh, god damn it. I hate that menu. It makes no sense. Click line up. Unselect here, then select here. Why can't, like, you can go on these characters. Select the character here and then quick select from here. That makes more sense than doing that. It's like an extra, like, it's a fucking extra step. Dude. Whatever, don't care, moving on. Uh, This one, and then fuck it. Her. Electric. Oogaloo. All right, this should be okay. I guess it's electric, fully in wind. Okay, yeah, 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 we're good. Let's just do this and we'll speed run it. Just fucking blast through. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. One hit, almost 50% already. God damn it. All right. Yeah, she's got three health bars. That's what I thought the wolf guy was gonna be that we were fighting early. I thought he was gonna have three health bars. You can fight it. Fight well, now we're just waiting for this to just kind of finish up. Um, I don't think we'll really have much issue with this fight. There we go. That's one of my favorite, like, bonus attacks that we get during a boss fight. Being like that released form of Don Hung is fucking sick. Round one done. Alright, that's almost a quarter damage. Or maybe it's a quarter damage that we've already done to shield. a fat chunk of both health and shield. That's another fat chunk right there. I miss using the general. It sucks that those wolf guys are so resilient against fucking electricity. It's not great. Our healer's kind of being cucked right now. In fact, a lot of our characters are because of that health block that she does. Where it gives great bars on her health so we can't heal past that certain point, which fucking sucks. But her ult, but our healer's ult erases a lot of status ailments. That's what's really good. And honestly, I don't think I really pointed out or mentioned it. I usually just do her ult as a heal, but it also gets rid of a bunch of different status ailments and effects that are on people as well. I don't know if all healers ults do that, or only certain ones, but this is pretty great. I don't know if there's any other newer healer that has come out yet. Probably look into that. There we go. Thunder. 
Oh. And then we also have Big Electric Guy to come in and do his own move, too. Nice. Oh, are we actually going to be able to... Oh, we might! Oh! So close! So close! 5%! We were so close on just finishing her before her shield regenerated. But we should still be able to take her out. Alright, there we go. Dunning rings. And we got two. Okay, good. Um, I can't remember if we needed one or two, but... Should be good either way. Oh, and we need that bullet, too. Okay, each one just needed one. That's good, that's good. Too slow. I can go even faster. All right, Braggy McBraggerson. Oh, wait, now we needed that. Right there. There we go. Noise. I have no idea. I don't really keep up with the meta when it comes to Honkai Star Rail. I generally just play this one for the, uh, just for the story, for the most part. But I feel like they've become a lot more heavy-handed and just, like, cutscene into cutscene kind of stuff. Ever since they went to Pentaconia. And I hope they readjust it soon so there's a bit more, like, gameplay walking around with the story stuff. But yeah, I mainly just keep up with the metas in, like, Genshin and Zelna Sen Zero. This is just kind of, like, the third extra one I play, just because I like the, uh, sci fi e weirdness of it. Alright, we are good here. Too slow. I can go even faster. Nice, more damage. Wow, and we're already lacking on the bullets. Bruh. That's good. Yeah, crap. We're like stuck in this zone where we just have to grind this shit out. Um, I don't know. Did we even get any healing? No, uh, leveling stuff from that, which we did not. All right. Yeah, I can't remember. Who do we go to? Oh, wait, hold on. L let's check the shop. I haven't checked for tickets and whatnot. Let's see what we got. Oh. Uh, do, 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 do. Under 20. Okay, how many more days? Is this five days too? Four days. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is synced up with Genshin and uh, Zulmus and Zero. I always forget that they're all like kind of synced up when all these come back around. Um, Let's see here. What do we need? What do we need? Bullets. remember is this just for one or is this for multiple it's for one bullet fuck off oh my god i hate you i hate you so much okay and we have a little bit of this uh gem stuff be much gem stuff uh let's check our warp all right we got a few of these can we do all right we're like just under 30 away from getting brick. Alright, that's not great. Well, the only thing really left to do then is to grind. And I'm really banking on her uh, being really good against the wolf boss guy. So I'm really banking on this. That's why we're grinding for her right now. Because we are kind of getting completely destroyed by her. All right, let's go. Do the usual grind. No, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Move faster. Here, 
Let's just blast our way through this. Actually, I could probably put on uh, the person we're trying to level up. Because this is just, these are like level 50 enemies, so. Probably do good here. I should probably check on some news and updates and stuff for this. Uh, go to Game 8 and see what's going down. But yeah, Tokyo Game Show is going on right now. Some announcements go along with that. I have not gotten a chance to look into those yet. But I probably will later on tonight. Alright, we didn't really get much out of that. Okay, three, only three levels. Okay, um, I think... Hmm. I think we're good enough at, like, a level 50 fight that we could probably replace our healer with just someone else to do damage. And just, like, compete completely, like, power blast our way through them. Um, let's add her. What prey would require the attention of two generals? <laughs> and I don't know, she kind of felt weak. For myself. She felt a bit weak. Um... You know what, we haven't really used wealth at all since we got him. I worked on leveling him up, and then I haven't really played him at all. So let's just put him on. Like, we're just gonna sit back and, like, watch the grind, so... Might as well see him bust out some of his moves. Like, it's crazy, we pulled him, it was so epic. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna grind him. And then I grinded him. And then we went into a story where it's, like, not really usable for him at the moment. Although, who knows? Since I haven't used him, maybe he is more usable than I think. Maybe he's better than Ratio. Who knows? Like I say, I don't really keep up with the metas when it comes to Honkai Star Rail. Compared to, like, the other two Holyverse games. Or actually, I don't even really keep up with the technical meta for Zoneless N Zero. I just like play what I like, and it ends up comboing pretty well. There's no time like the present. Uh. Hold on. Okay, that was okay damage. see any updates on the next version yet for Honkai Star Rail. Not a big surprise, honestly, we just got this update. Stand down. Uh, let's see, Genshin should be having their live stream sometime soon. 
haven't seen the official release. Show no mercy. What the fuck? I haven't seen their official uh, update on when that's gonna happen. Uh, Mention Impact version 2.5. Scheduled release is October 9th. Uh, here, the thunder. Two, two. Okay, so we have 12 more days until the next Genshin update. Um, yeah, and they still they don't mark down when the live stream is supposed to happen, which is annoying on this site. It only tells us when the actual date of the actual update is supposed to happen. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so in two weeks we'll have it, so probably next weekend we'll get the live stream. Click on these. Rest of those. Oh, we only needed... 30, right? For the wish, I think. Yeah, okay, sweet. And drop. We did get pretty lucky recently and pull that golden ticket, so... I don't know if we're gonna get lucky again. I don't think we will, but... Eh, okay. Let's see. I'm hoping for some good character cards. Let's see what we got. Oh no, we got her. God damn it. Okay, I should level her up. <laughs> I've had her at... We pulled her a while ago, but I really haven't tried her out at all. Um, let's see. Actually, how many... Is this my first? Oh no, this isn't my first duplicate. In the obscure prophecy of dream, Need increase by 20% for one turn. Enlightened my good. path. Seems pretty good. Too bad it's on a character that I have not leveled up at all. <laughs> Three more levels. Three more levels, Mr. Crafts. Temporary early access for one. Means it's in early early access. What do you mean temporarily early access? You've been here before. What? Yeah, I keep fighting the robots in Pentaconia. They're all fucking obnoxious. They're like tiny abilities that each one has that makes them unique and special, but then comboing them together makes them really fucking annoying. The asshole TV that takes away your alt. <laughs> Terrible times. Terrible times. Pentaconia, uh, story-wise, super interesting. Gameplay-wise, probably my least favorite area. Up, fucking, man. I go down one too many, and then I try to go back up, and then it's like, nah. Wait, no, that's, that's what I needed. Alright, we picked up a shitload of claws. I don't think we've seen anyone that needs those claws yet, so fuck it. We'll just throw it all in. All right, this is level four. Oh, this one also- oh, it needs- hmm, I'm trying to think. Have we seen someone that's needed two? That's not- that's not a secondary boss element, is that? Wait, who has this one? Okay, no, 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 that's- that's not a boss element. Okay, for a second there, I thought that was a secondary boss element. I'm like, what? Two boss materials. Alright, standard hit. Alright, and then we're kind of burnt out on that. Level up. Bullshit.
Is it even worth it, though? I feel like this will just take up more time and just get us... Whatever, we'll try it. Up to five. Let's do it! And the funnest part of any game. The grind. I don't know. Although, Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Yeah, I don't think I leveled up his skills. I think that's what it was. I was leveling up Welt just level, but I can't remember if I leveled up his actual like skills and techniques and whatnot. I don't think I did. Welt's not doing well right now. We should bump him off. I need to check. I need to check him out. I haven't looked at him in like a few weeks. I can't remember what I was missing on him. But yeah, his moves are definitely weaker. Or actually, wait, shit. Do I even have a card on him? That could be a big reason why he's ass. is so easy to pop off with. It's crazy. Actually, wait, yeah, we took off the healer, so that probably wasn't the smartest choice to level up the enemies. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot. Barely. Yeah, that's not- that is so not worth it. It feels like they just give us more brown instead of purple level up materials, and it's like, fuck that, dude. Just like in all their other games, they give you a mid-material, and you're like, oh, thank you, it's not the shittiest in the game. It's barely usable, yay. Bruh. All right. Now let's look at. Well, what did I have going on with him? Oh, I did have a card on him. A relatively well leveled up card. Okay, his levels definitely aren't the best. And then, oh yeah, 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 that the armor play the cool. Uh, but gonna get blasted here. In fact, a lot of these I really have not leveled up the armor. That shit's been annoying. Uh. Okay. Okay, I haven't actually looked into, like, the auto armor setup. Do they actually use the armor set that's good for that character? Because I honestly don't think it does. I think it just puts on whatever. Oh, dude. Fuck 
and replace that with her. And then enhance. Dude, yeah. Ugh. I don't think we're going to be using that girl much more. Like, she's in a super specific case where if the enemies are using, like, a lot of uh, buffs and stuff, we'll pull her out. But other than that, I think it's a waste of keeping the stuff on her. But we're going to swap it over. And it says, like, they put this set on, the, on her, so I'm assuming this is a good set for her. Okay, attack defense percentage. Of fucking course you give me that. Alright. Okay, crit damage percent increase. That's not bad. And we ran out of all the fun stuff. And I think we just ran out of everything else. Oh no, we didn't. Alright. Oh my god. And it slows to a crawl, folks. Terrible, terrible. Alright, we don't really have anything better than that. That specific one. Dude, this is a CAC percentage and crit damage. I don't know what her meta is, but either way, it's like we need her to do a fuckload of damage. Ooh, hell yeah. Ooh, nice. Come on, let's get that crit damage up more. Damn it. Well, base attack at least is going up. I don't know. Just base, it, base attack factors into our, like, alt abilities and stuff, right? Like, I'm pretty sure. Dude, we're actually getting that percentage up quite high. You just need her default damage to already be fairly high, and then adding the percentage onto it will be fucking mind-blowing. There we go. Crit damage up 11%. Alright, next we got this. I have no idea about these. So. We're getting a lot of, like, damage boost by percentage rather than by flat numbers, and I feel like that might be not good for us. God damn it. Nothing is, like, a flat number. Everything's a percentage. Life is a flat number. Alright. Well, let's look at what her stats are. I haven't even done that. Um... Alright. Okay, that's... I guess that's a decent... I don't even know what this fucking thing is. Alright, yeah, that, that's decent, I guess. It's over a thousand to hit. I wish her base attack was higher than 66. Her crit rate is low, but her crit damage is high! Um, that's 100%. Okay. Uh, break effect is almost 15%. Effective hit rate is decent-ish. Wind damage is good. 10% boost. Alright. Yeah, we need to just get her base attack up higher. I'd like it if her base attack was up to 1,000. Instead of it being that low. Or wait, 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 what? Wait, that makes no sense. Oh wait, no, 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 that's the, that's, okay. For a sec there I was like, wait, why was her base so much higher? I'm an idiot, yeah. Okay, so the ones that we see on that screen are them already together. And not them individually. I thought it was individual. I thought it was, it would show the base attack, and then you open up the sheet, and then you see how much gets added onto it. Dangus. Alright, we need some arrowheads. 
the usual. I hate so much of the shit that we need we just get from this planet. <laughs> I wish some were more specific to certain planets. Okay, ice, wind. That ice was good. Electric is not good, allegedly. Allegedly, folks, allegedly. Wait, what did I do? So dumb. I hate how they have it set up. It's square to go into the menu, X to deselect, X to select, and then triangle to confirm. It's like, couldn't, like, why can't that all just be the same button? Like, in this menu, X to select this character, X to select the character you want to replace that character. That's it. Literally two button presses. But instead they make it four for some reason. It's like, why? Why do you make it so much extra than it needed to be, bro? I know she's down. Don't tell me she's down. Oh wait, no, they meant she's down, down. I thought they meant her level is low. Mm. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. My genius shows once again. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought. Come on. Being down that one person is really, uh, kinda... ...screwing us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, they gave us red. They gave us four of the red, which we need three of to make one of the arrowheads we need. Fucking hate this game. Grinding system! It's like, oh, thank you for doing us the favor for being able to auto through the grind. You know what would be a better way to fix it? Not to have the grind in the game in the first place, fuckface. Since you didn't really need to have it. Like, it's so fucking dumb. And I think I said, oh, thank God that they made grinding easy. It's like, what the fuck was I thinking when I said that? No. There shouldn't be grinding in this fucking game to begin with. It's fucking dog shit. Yay, let's sit here for 20 minutes watching me press autoplay. Yay, it's fun, guys. It's so fun. Look how fun this game is. It's amazing. You get to sit here, press a single button, and then watch a cutscene. Or hit a single button, and then watch a fight play out. Wow. Yay, flashing lights and bright colors. <laughs> what next? Are they gonna dangle some keys for us? That would be, that'd be fucking sick. So sick. Hey, what the fuck was I doing? This piece of shit. Oh, yep. What I needed. Need some room to breathe in here. I think price tip is only three. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. You do all that. You do 10 levels. And you barely get 20. On your attack. Fuck. Off. So hard. I want to die inside. Correction. I am fully dying inside. Okay. I'm calling it. I thought we could maybe possibly grind through this quick, but very clearly not. We've wasted almost an hour trying to grind. I'm going to call it for today's stream. I'm going to grind for the next hour or so, see how it goes. Tomorrow we'll hop back in and hopefully have an actual usable, playable team to push forward with. If not, I don't... Side stories? Other side stories, I guess? We'll see, but... Yeah, we're getting to getting fucking completely cumstered by that fucking wolf guy. Because we got apparently jack shit and stuff that can actually do damage to him or do damage to his uh, side dudes he summons. But whatever. This is my hell. <laughs> That's it for day 1486 of streaming in a row. Thank you for coming out and hanging out. Like always, tomorrow we're going to be doing some more Honkai Star Rail. Yay. I thought this was going to be fun. Oh, how the tables have turned. How the turntables have turned. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to be happening tomorrow. Then this weekend, we're going to get back into an actually really good game, Final Fantasy 16, which is fucking awesome so far. It's been so damn fun. Um, and yeah, that's the plan for the next couple of days. Uh, like always, links down below for my Twitter, as well as links over to my YouTube channel, where all my previous streams are uploaded and archived over there. And I will catch you all tomorrow with some more Honkai Star Rail. We'll see. See ya.